some people think that if you're a centre and a wing defence, you can naturally play wing attack. That is not the case. Mm. You know, you can be a very defensive centre, which Winders is, and I think they're really lacking a strong wing attack who can get onto that circle lead, look in, and direct that play on attack. So for me, you know, I think if I was MJ, I'd be searching for a wing attack. It, it definitely makes more sense to kind of swing a goal attack across to wing attack from a sort of playmaker um, approach, I guess. And I guess maybe they were looking at using Keanu Williams in that space a bit as well to bring something different. But I mean, you know, I don't, the, sol the um, selecting of a team and contracting of a team isn't solely down to MJ, so I don't want to say you know, something's gone wrong here, but something has gone wrong here. There is no wing attack at all. And even when, obviously, Simone Wilbour, who filled in in round one and did an amazing job at wing attack, um, clearly wasn't available for round two because they brought in Hayley Saunders, another wing defence. Mm. They literally had four wing defenders pretty much on the side. They're trying to uh, turn Georgie Edgecombe into a wing attack, but the ANZ Premiership is not the space to do that. You know, let her play wing attack in the NNL or give her some time at club before you say, hey, I've signed you. By the way, you're going to be playing wing attack. Let's get you in there. Let's throw you out. And the poor girl looked like, you know, yeah. a deer in the headlights. I felt really sorry for her. So it's a real, real problem for the Magic. And if I was them, I'd be doing whatever I could to somehow try and squeeze the likes of someone into, you know, a full-time contract just to get her out there because... Yeah, Annie, I totally agree with you. I'm a defender and I know that, you know, wing attack is up there with the most important position on the court. It's up there. It's up there. It's up there. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, that's a tough one. And, and for me as well, I almost feel like Claire Kirsten would be better suited at wing attack than Sammy. I think <clears throat> Sammy's a really strong, um, she's got defensive nous and she attacks the ball really well yeah. and can read the play really well, but she's quite hesitant on attack. Even at mm. centre, she's hesitant on attack. Yeah. And I think when Claire Kirsten is playing centre for the Magic and Sammy's at wing there, it works better. So for me, it naturally makes more sense to put Claire Kirsten into wing attack. But I mean, we're not we're not at trainings. We don't know yeah. what, what's going on behind the scenes. So yeah. I hate kind of saying that and being super critical, but... Um, yeah, I scratch my head with the magic and I feel sorry for Sammy and the team and I hope, you know, it's not a repeat of last season. Yeah, exactly. I don't think it will be. I don't think it will be. There's still time to find their momentum and first game off the bat, they got that win. You know, so we know that there is um, potential there. But it also made for a bit of a, a sticky debut for uh, Emilio and Ekinasio, didn't it? And Inside Netball were able to catch up with her after her magic debut. Emilio and how just... Nice to get back out there and play some netty. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I've been on court, so um, I think it's been 12 months since I've actually taken a court, so yeah, it definitely feels like a long time, but good to just draw a line in the sand. Was it a bit weird walking into this venue wearing <laughs> that particular dress? I know, it definitely was. Even when we walked out, I thought we were going to the wrong bench. Like it's, um, yeah, but I guess it's just the way it is, so yeah. How are you finding that the slow return back into to playing, is it suiting you? <laughs> it does feel really slow, and I must admit I'm quite frustrated at times. I just really want to get stuck out there. I wanted to stay out there tonight. Um, I want to run out. I don't like playing at the back. <laughs> So yeah, um, but I have to just trust the process and I know that I've got really good support around me. Um, so it's just, um, I'm in here for the long game, not for right now. So can you tell us, I mean, does this mean we'll see you for maybe another quarter next week or do you get maybe to run out for two? How does it all yeah, work? Yeah, I'm pushing for two definitely um, and I want to run out at Goal Attack. So yeah, hopefully we will, but yeah, we'll just continue to build and as long as we don't see any regressions, um, we should just keep pushing for some more. So it should just hurt the, the lungs and the legs definitely. I know it was a bit of a frustrating night tonight, but do you like what this group is feeling at the moment? Yeah, I definitely do. We've got so much more to build and like everybody, we haven't had a great lead up and that's fine. It's just the way um, the season's going to be this year. So we've just got to get out and do what we can at the time. It's great to see you back mate. Thank you. So very nice to see Emilia Ann Ekinasio full of smiles then. Obviously not the result that she would have wanted but to get out on the court nonetheless is a big achievement for her. As she said one year since she's played at this level after having um, beautiful little Luna. But Annie I'll ask you first what did you make of Emilia Ann Ekinasio's um, first game back? Well first of all it was lovely to see her back out on court. And while she only shot 83%, I think, five from six, um, you know, I think she's, you can tell she's got a long way to go and she said it, that, you know, she's trying to build up to full fitness. Um, and I think that's why, you know, they nearly need a really strong wing attack, goal attack to really help bring Ekinasio in. I think she probably needs to stay at the back and at goal shoot because, because she's not back to full, full fitness. And she's got such a lovely shot and an accurate shot. So I think goal shoot is probably the position 
uh, where they need to transition her back into the magic side. And I mean, it just goes to show you how difficult having a baby is and getting back to full fitness. I, I remember I had my daughter Jaya in November and was back playing for the Magic very similar time to um, Meals in March. So my daughter was four months old and I remember playing and I was just half the athlete that I was, you know, my back, I had no abs. It's <laughs> tough, man. I mean, admittedly, these players have a lot more resources thrown at them now, but She's got two kids, you know, mm. she, she doesn't just have one. So I think we'll expect to see slow pro, um, promising signs with, with meals. I think the Silver Ferns will be keep, keeping a close eye on her and, and wanting to ensure that she's recovering as well as she can and, you know, making good positive steps. But, you know, good start for her, but, you know, improvements will certainly be seen throughout the season. Yeah, I mean, two children, and we forget that she is commuting from Wellington to Hamilton or wherever the Magic are training that week. So, you know, you throw that in there as well. And, of course, her recovery is going to be slower than maybe many anticipated. And, you know, we're used to seeing these incredible comeback stories from athletes all the time that, you know, we forget that it is really tough. And I love hearing that from you, Annie, yeah. from someone who's been there, just to <laughs> kind of say, well, guys, you know, this is <laughs> impressive what she's doing. Yeah. Um, but I agree, she, yeah. does, she does look a long way off, which, you know, I think people assumed that she would be ready for com games and you kind of assume that Knowles would take her on one leg if she had to but I think with the way that goal attacks around the country are stepping up at the moment that's not necessarily going to be the case mm. and while it's great to see her at goal shoot and I agree Annie that we need to transition her um, she needs to be out playing goal attack because you know Maya and Grace have goal shoot locked up really mm. so yeah it was great to see her out there she only missed the one shot low volume but low volume but that's not necessarily her fault um, Great to hear that she wants two quarters next weekend and hopefully that'll be three the following weekend and then we'll get to see her in four games in no time. But yeah, lovely to see her out there and um, I think the Magic will will need her sort of enthusiasm and her leadership down that attacking end. So yeah, more of it please. Yeah, I just wanted to bring up, I was surprised to see her take the court this weekend. I really thought uh, with the the personnel that they have in that area that they don't need to rush her back but you bring up a great point about Commonwealth Games and she probably wants to be seen and she wants to be in people's memory banks I suppose but Annie do you think it was the right time for her to come back? Well I, I'm unsure as to whether it was whether it was the right time or not I mean I thought Ivana Rowland in round one had a superb game in at goal shoot but I think it's really important she's a part of the team. Mm. If she was allowed to have 15 minutes, then get her on. She'll feel feel like she's part of the team. She started her campaign. And even mentally, that might give her a bit more motivation um, to, you know, to, to keep working hard. So, you know, 15 minutes, as Storm said, let's hope she's, we see, see half an hour on, um, with her on the court next week. And who knows what she'll do.